Hello everybody and welcome back. It's time for another minor major tutorial. Now I know a lot of you have been asking for more tutorials and I've been trying to think of some kind of unique things you can do with minor major to make tutorials on since I've kind of hit most of the basics. And one thing that I have always wanted to hit but haven't done was green screening in minor major. Um, now if you've I'm sure most of you have seen uh, the Meet the Pyro video that Frosa made. And uh, he used, or him and David rather, used um, green screening. God, I can't think and find the file at the same time. They used green screening to uh, get that effect. If you if you pay attention, um, they use Minimator to animate the pyro and things like that. But there are burning blocks in the background, things like that. And you cannot, in the current Minimator version, actually get the fire particles working. Now that is going to be coming in future versions, but in the current version you can't. And so they had to green screen an animation like I've made here over a recorded video of the game Minecraft. Um, so I made this short animation of a skin that Phantom made for me. Um, also a nice shaded one of myself walking out does kind of some breakdance moves, comes up on a handstand, and then uh, points and laughs. And he's going to be pointing and laughing at my other skin because he can't do these cool moves that this one can. So let me show you how to set this up before I show you the actual video. Now, green screening, of course, replies, um, not replies, refers to this green screen in the background. And what it does is when I go into my video editing program that I'll show you in a minute, it is going to pretty much erase everything that is green. So you want to make sure anything on your character, anything on your schematics is not green um, or else it will be erased. And that's one of the reasons why I had to uh, change my goggles to orange because a couple months ago when I started messing around with green screen uh, for a logo I tried back then, the one where I walk out and the logo hits me into the wall, my goggles were actually pretty much the same green as this background so it would erase the inside of my goggles right there um, so let me show you how to get this set up real quick I'll just start a new animation I will add a character um, we'll just use Steve and uh, first thing you want to do is I like to leave everything how it is to do the actual animating because I do want to keep him on a level walking surface if I go if I take this uh, if I take the ground away from the beginning, it's going to really mess me up because I'm when I'm moving him up and down and all around, I'm not going to know kind of that level platform that he needs to be on so it doesn't look like he's walking all cockeyed when he's moving. So let's go ahead and turn that back on. Let's uh, go back to the keyframe here. And uh, we'll just give him a simple walking animation position. We'll move him over here. Let's zoom out a little bit and let's create walking animation and that's achieved by having two keyframes click on the first uh, right click on the first one and select create walking animation so now if we press play he strolls on forward nothing hard now to get to the green screen um, like I just showed you you're gonna want to um, come down here to the background tab you want to twirl that open if it's not already open and there's two things well three things are going to change here first of all you're going to delete the ground um, you don't have to but since I'm going to be overlaying him on a video that already has ground I do not want ground on his video so I'm going to check the show ground box here on the right um, and as you can see here if I change the sky color to green this green is the third one down from the top. Uh, click OK. You can see here that it does kind of get a different bit of a color variation from a darker shade to a lighter shade. And the way to make it one solid color, because that's going to make it the easiest for you, is to select the button up here, Show Custom Background. And what that does is it kind of pretty much makes it one solid light across the whole thing. And now I'm not going to change the background, I'm just going to select that option so that I do get this solid green. And that's going to help me out later. So let me go ahead and show you the clip that I made. It's 30 seconds long of me walking out and laughing at myself because he can't do the cool moves I can do.
All right, now I use After Effects to do my green screening. You can actually use uh, Premiere as well, or even Sony Vegas, and I'm sure there's other um, editing software you can use. But I know how to use it in After Effects, so that's why I use it. Um, all of them are gonna achieve pretty much the same effect if you know what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, YouTube <laughs> tutorials are always your friend. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, make a new composition. Now I'm not going to go over exactly all the different settings here just because I pretty much um, crawl through these programs blindly at the very beginning. Um, so <laughs> I can't really explain everything and how it works. So I'm just going to go ahead and get it set up how I know it works. So I have my, my animator thing of myself walking on the background of green. And then I have um, the recording of the in-game Minecraft. So I used the Camera Studio mod, the one that I use for my, um, what's it called? My time-lapse builds for my Let's Build a Ski Resort. And I used that because I wanted to get a side view, <clears throat> excuse me, of myself. So first of all, we need to kind of scrub these. Oops, not both of them. Deselect, okay. We'll scrub these so that we can get to where we don't have the panels playing. Oh, still got them. Okay, so now I've got the panels playing, and when I scrub this, it's not going to be the clearest video just because there is a lot going on. Um, but it looks like I got it pretty good. Now you'll see here, since I, I, have the, I want the green screen one on top, but the problem is, is I can't see through this green screen of what's happening. And so in After Effects, to get to achieve the green screen, green screen effect, you're going to go up here to the Effects drop-down menu. You're going to come down here to Keen. And oop, you're going to come down here to Key Light 1.2. You're going to open that. You're going to click on this little dropper here for screen color. And you're going to click on the green. Now the benefit of what I did here with just the solid green, it is, is that it is the same green all around. If I had kept that darker green that shaded into a lighter green, I would go ahead and have to start messing with the screen matte options to get rid of all that white. But since I have one solid green across the board, I save myself a lot of trouble. So I'm going to go ahead and just click anywhere on here the where it's green. And it deletes the... Uh, let's scrub this one a little bit. It deletes, not necessarily deletes, but it sees through what's behind it, which is this Minecraft video. So when I originally brought this in, um, you can see it is he is bigger and he's not kind of in the same plane as the Minecraft video. So what I did here in After Effects is I made it a 3D object by selecting this box here, which brings up these lovely 3D handles. And I moved him on the Z index further back. Oop. And Let's control Z that further back into the video till he was about oh, the same height. I guess make sure it says Z. Okay, and that was about there. And then I I was talking before. Actually, I haven't talked about it. As far as the camera goes in Minimator, when you're setting up your green screening, I always like the camera to keep him pretty much centered. Um, because that gives me the option here to give him the positions I want him to have. So at the starting of the video, I move him over here, make a keyframe, and then scrub over here. You can see he actually hasn't moved his location, so I need to move him where I want him to end up, which is right there. Makes a keyframe, so now he does achieve the walking kind of the place movement as I wanted him to. So like I said, that may seem confusing to some, but watch a couple YouTube tutorials, things like that, and uh, it will become clear. So I then rendered it out and added it to the video that you're watching now. Um, so yeah, basically that's keyframing in a nutshell with my animator. The, the main thing I wanted to bring across here is the actual setup in Minimator as far as video controls and stuff goes with these other programs. Oh, I got an error. I'm just going to keep hitting ignore till it works. There we go. 
<laughs> that's sometimes the what what fixes it. So yeah, like I was saying, the main thing I wanted to bring across here was just essentially how to set up the actual green screen in Minimator. And then from there, you're gonna have to mess around in whatever video editing program you are going to use. So let me show the cameras real quick. When I play, let me turn the ground on so you can actually see that we are in fact moving. And because you are green screening him, he doesn't technically have to move. So right here where I do have him Oop, not right there. Where is it? Right here, where I actually do have him walk across the ground. Since essentially I did that myself in a video editing program, I didn't need to do it here. I could just have him doing it all in one big spot, but uh, I did it anyway. So I kept him pretty much in the same spot on the camera the whole time. So I made life easier for myself. When you get complicated camera controls, it is going to take a little bit of tweaking in your video program, but it is doable as you um, can see in uh, Meet the Pyro and in this. Now my example isn't the best, but it just shows you that it can work. So essentially that's the video. That's green screening using Minimator. Um, thanks for watching guys. As always, thanks for supporting my channel. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Um, any questions or comments below, if you need a specific tutorial that I haven't already done, go ahead and leave that in the comments and I'll try my best to do it. Uh, most of the time for most of the things here in Minecraft of how to do them, um, I have a tutorial for. I think I'm up to about 20 tutorials now for the new beta version. And I will be, I'm not going to restart once beta, uh, I think it's point six comes out around Christmas because... I'm pretty much just going to start adding on to this tutorial series because I don't need to restart from the beginning unless there is a complete overall. Anyway, enough of my blabbing. Uh, this is Skidoo. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my channel. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.